So you went out, bought yourself a brand new RTX card, you want to see real-time ray tracing in Unreal Engine, and you can't figure out how to do it? That's what this video covers. Let's dive in. So I covered this in a previous video with real-time ray tracing prior to 4.23, if I'm not mistaken, in which you had to go in and actually create a shortcut on your desktop and do a little bit of code to force the engine to get into DirectX 12 mode. Thankfully, you don't have to do that anymore. Um, so we're running 4.24. That is a prerequisite here, so you got to make sure that you're running 4.24 or higher to have the real-time ray tracing enabled. Of course, I'm gonna remind you guys too that you have to have an RTX card. Um, as far as I know right now, full support on that is any of the 20 series cards. I believe the, um, they're, they're the not 10 series card, but they're like the 1060 or something. I don't know. If you go to NVIDIA's website, you'll see which ones have full support. Now there is some backwards compatibility, but it's kind of a pseudo hybrid. So if you've got like a, a 1080 or a 1070 or something, you may only have limited capabilities. So, okay, enough rambling. So as you can see, we have the engine here running with our real-time ray tracing. So if you see here, I can actually see the real-time reflections happening. Okay, so how do we get to that? Well, first thing you need to do is go up to your edit project settings, and this will open up your project settings windows. And there's two things that we need to enable. Now you can just click all settings and you can type this in. So we want to type in ray tracing and we want to make sure that this is checked. Now, when you check it, it's going to pop up a little thing saying, Hey, you got to make sure your skin shader is also doing, go ahead and click. Okay. And that's fine. That's the first one. Now here's the thing though. If you just click that, you're not going to have full ray tracing. There's one other thing that we need to do here. So if you scroll down to your platforms and under Windows, you need to make sure that DirectX 11 and 12 is enabled. So that's SM Shader 5, and you can have this checked, and you need to check this one, the default RHI. So I believe it's set to default. You want to go ahead and change that to DirectX 12. Once you're done with that, go ahead and close and restart your editor. Now there's two things you can do to make sure and check whether or not your real-time ray tracing is enabled. The first one is if you highlight over your actual project name, you'll see up here that it says graphics RHI DirectX 12. If DirectX 12 or the real-time ray tracing is not enabled, that'll say DirectX 11. So that's the first thing. The next thing is in any of your viewports, now I've got just you know some, some of them laid out here, is you're going to have your ray tracing debug. So when your ray tracing is enabled, you will have these pop up. So we can go through any of these so we can see there's base color. We can also go to our primary rays. And so this is showing the information that's being passed to the GPU on the GPU buffer for our real time ray tracing. So that's how you know that you're running. It's as simple as that. Now, if you're running anything prior to this, check out the other video. I'll link it down in the description that shows you how to force the engine into DirectX 12 mode. That's how you run real-time ray tracing, and then you can go from there. So hope that helps, and we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>